everybody, welcome to another video. Yes, Goober's back. This one's kind of a part two to the whole California scam thing. And the reason why I saw it and had to do a video on it is simply this, guys. With the whole unemployment fraud thing happening, California's basically taking additional steps to prevent it, or at least try to prevent it from happening again. So this article is basically reading Californians waiting for unemployment benefits, benefits and finding their accounts frozen over fraud fears. That's stupid ads. So the California Employment Development Department, or EDD, has frozen the accounts of numerous people relying on um, unemployment benefits to weather the pandemic as it investigates fraud. The EDD said that those affected by the suspended payments will need to have their identity verified before processing their claim can resume, leaving many uncertain about when they will receive their financial support. Through the pandemic, unemployment fraud is hit by delays and errors in its processing of financial support as as well as widespread fraud. In a tweet on Sunday, the EDD wrote, as part of ongoing efforts to fight fraud, the EDD has suspended payment on claims considered high risk and is informing those affected that their identity will need to be verified starting the week of the article before payments can resume. The EDD also sent out an email to those who accounts are frozen, saying their claim may be tied up due to fraudulent activity. One recipient, Mark Brewer of San Francisco's resident and a former food delivery driver who has been on Pandemic Employment Assistance, or PUA, since March, told Fox News that the suspensions are just incredibly horrible timing just so cold. He said he has faced several issues with EDD as he has struggled to live on minimum payment of 167 a week for the last three months. But I think they're doing it because it's a lazy approach and they just want to get rid of the fraud. But at my expense and other people that are obviously not fraudsters, he added, the letter reportedly says instructions how to verify your identification will come from EDD on January 6th. But this comes a week after the first notification about payment suspensions, leaving many in the dark about when they may receive their benefits. It comes as jobless claims have continued to rise through the pandemic. Many in the U.S. are left without funds when federal employment benefits briefly lapsed in, on December 26 before President Donald Trump signed the latest COVID relief and spending package. In California, Senator Scott Weiner told Fox News that state officials have received swaths of complaints about the recent EDD account suspensions. He has told the broadcaster that EDD investigation into fraudulent, act, fraudulent activity should not be done in the way that hurts people honest honest people. Same people have had to deal with way too much in terms of pro access seeing their benefits. We have this huge backlog in terms of getting people approved. And now we have this. And it just shows his tweet. Earlier in the pandemic sent Senator Scott Weiner told uh, other public officials publicly called out over EDD and unacceptable delays and errors in around unemployment benefits during this pandemic. In October, EDD announced millions of backlog claims would not be cleared until January, leaving Californians who have waited months for benefits with little recourse until the new year. So I will leave a link to this article guys, but this is what happens when 
fraud gets thrown in the mix and people just want to steal. It, it's hard on people and their families. And I understand to a degree, you know, the government taking steps to try to eliminate fraud, but at the same time, it hurts them too. So the more we can bring this awareness out there and get these scammers shut down, the faster and easier it is. First thing like the first scams like this to happen. And I'm sure it's not California having these issues. I'm sure every state in the US is seeing similar issues where people will scam. Even with the stimulus ch checks, the 1200 and the recent 600 one. My own mother in law, in a sense, was victim of a, a scam. And she just found out about it recently. So they're doing this not just with unemployment benefits, they're doing it with stimulus checks. And it sucks because this hurts people, especially people depending on this money to just get by. So let's try to bring this out and aware, everybody. Hope you have a wonderful day.